I'd like to thank Chris STV 1979 for sending me some really nice radios. Here's a Penny's transistor radio, and this probably predates the Pencrest brand. It looks like it may be from the late 50s or very early 60s. Here's a Zenith Royal 35, and I got some batteries in it, and it works really good. Here's a Jade 10 transistor. This is a, a really nice uh, small Zenith Royal 20, and it takes these uh, these unusual little batteries here. I'm not sure what the voltage is on this. I don't know if maybe I can do a, a modern day setup of this with some button cells or some end cells or, or what. It may be difficult to supply battery power to it because it's got these I don't know if each of these is 3 volts or what. I'll have to check it out. But it's a really nice little radio. It comes in a ze little Zenith uh, case. Here's an Admiral transistor radio and an FM stereo with two headphone jacks. I haven't tried these ones yet. I don't know if I'll have to see if I've got some appropriate batteries for them. I was able to get some D cells from the flashlight to use in this one, but I'll need to need to look. I think I've got more batteries at home. I just don't have a whole bunch here. Here's a little Panasonic uh, handheld radio, and it's unusual in that it has a built-in power supply. This connects directly to 110 volts AC. There's a little bit of vibration from the power transformer in there. And also a, a nice thing about this is it has the tuning dial on both the top and the side. And this Need help getting the conversation on. started? Go to drugfree.org. A message from Texas Department of State Health Services. The following letter. Sense just isn't talking to people. What can I... You can't even get the green out of So this one seems to work good. Here's a little portable TV, little LCD TV. So thanks a lot to Chris for sending me these, and I'll try and do some more videos on the operation of them once I get some batteries in them, get some more batteries up here to check them out.